Okay, so we're just going to set up this uh, little exercise. So let me switch over to Xcode. I'm going to start a new project, single view application. I'm just going to call this gestures. Make sure the language is Objective-C. Okay, so I'm going to save it here under Lessons. So always make sure that you do um, a Git repo on this. You can always do Git in it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is move the app delegate into supported files. I, I don't need most of these uh, files, so I'll just move them into the supporting area. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to delete um, everything that's here. So we're going to delete the view controller uh, that comes with it. And the storyboard, we're going to start by deleting the first scene. And next, what we want to do is we want to bring out a UI bar, uh, sorry, a UI tab bar uh, controller. So we want this one here. So let's just drag that out to the interface. And you can see that that comes, uh, let's just make a bit of space here. You can see that, uh, sorry that this comes already with two view controllers. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just uh, select these and delete them. I wanna start from scratch um, with the storyboard. Okay, so the next thing that, so let's bring out a couple of view controllers. So we can just filter down here, UI view controller. Okay, let's just drag one of these out and we're gonna drag a second one out. Okay, so let's just move these around a bit. So what we wanna do is we want to make our connections here. So if we control drag from the tab bar controller and we go down to relationship segues and we want the view controllers one. So let's just connect those both up. Okay, so the other thing here that I would like to do is the first, basically this uh, first item we want to be a pan gesture and we'll make this one here a tap gesture. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do is I just want to bring in a couple of images just so that we have some images to distinguish these. So let's just jump over. I've pasted the URL for this. Uh, in the notes so you can just um, copy this URL here and what we can do is we can simply clone this so we'll go back over to finder Let's see if we can get finder back okay so I think I was in developer under lessons okay so I'm going to CD into here and I'm going to do a get clone on that URL. Okay, so I'm just going to clone those images. Uh, so you'll see that they, they are uh, in this folder here, tab bar images. Okay, so these are some PDF files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to command tab back to Xcode, make sure that I have the assets catalog selected and I'm going to drag these into this um, assets catalog. So jump back over to Finder, select these and just drag them in to here. Okay, so we'll probably get into this at some other time, but these are vector PDFs. So for now, all you need to do is come over here, yes, make sure they're all selected, come over here and go to single scale. Okay, so these should automatically scale to the right uh, dimensions depending on what device you're on. Okay, and these are 30 by 30 images and they'll be suitable for using in the storyboard. Okay, 
So let's just open the document outline here and you can see that we have item item scene and item scene here. So uh, this looks like it's, you can see it's highlighted here. So it's this uh, first view controller. So let's make this one the pan gesture. Okay, so if we on, um, if we click into these here, we can click to item and we can change this name over here to pan. Make sure you hit enter. Okay, and the image we want is, let's select image one. Okay, and let's do the same for the next scene. Okay, we'll select item. So let's do uh, tap here and item two. Okay, so that should be good to get us going here. So let's just save this and make sure you do a commit at this stage. Um, one other thing is let's just change the background color here to let's change the first one to gray and the second one let's change this guy to something like a yellow color or something like this. Okay, and the other thing is let's just run this and make sure that it, it in fact works. Oh, it won't work because we uh, we need to make this the initial view controller. You can see we're getting a warning here. Okay, so it says that we need to um, basically make this the initial view controller. So if we just come over here and click, uh, that puts that little arrow there and that warning goes away. So we should be good to go now. So let me just try and run this. Okay, so I'm just going to run this in the simulator. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this by the, the end of this stage.